I need a little more time and I know I can break this thing. I said you've been in there long enough. No, I'm telling you, it's about to give. I'm doing fine. You're the ones who keep screwing up. All right, all right. Look, we'll change the password, okay? Cindy, I'm sorry this happened. It's not supposed to happen like this. Fine, but don't blame me. I'm not blaming you, but undercover work's dangerous. I'm just not sure how much longer I can leave you in there. All I need is a couple of days, and I know I can bust this thing. Are you sure about that? Look, don't worry. If I just keep turning up the heat, I know this is definitely going to boil over. Fine, you got two days. Cindy, I told you, I had two days. Now that's 48 hours and you're out of there. Good call. Wait, but I just said... There are no buts. And I'm tired of arguing about it. I got somewhere important to be, so you two get the hell out of my office and get to work. All right, that's it. You're out. Out? Out of what? Don't play dumb with me. You're out. You're off the case. You're kidding. I am so close to this guy. No, what you are is out of control. Now, you're talking a mile a minute. I can't even get a word in edgewise. But... And you're not listening. And I don't mean right now. I mean in general. Okay, but that... I would... gave you 48 hours, Cindy, and it's up. Now, you're out. Okay, that was before I found out. Forget about it. You're out of there. No, just listen to me. No, I won't. I'm all done listening. I want you back in the squad room. Cindy, pull the plug. You're too close on this. Cindy, where are you going? I don't know. So, do you want me to let her go? She'll be all right. How you doing? Mrs. V here? And who should I say is calling, sir? Sergeant Gold. And are you here on official police business? Yeah, I sure am. You got your search warrant? Well, no, I don't. Why don't you just tell her it's Sergeant Gold? Sorry, Sergeant Gold. No warrant, no entry. All right, sport, then I guess you'll have to tell her. And what would that be? That one of her girls is dead. There must be some mistake. Mrs. V doesn't have any girls. Well, if she did have some girls, and one of them happened to be named Tracy Kerr, she might be interested in the fact that Tracy was gunned down this evening in a hotel room. Good night. Hi, V. Night. Is this official? Strictly off the record. Long time no see. Well, we did agree not to see each other again, didn't we? Look, I had to come. I'm sorry I'm here. Are you? Yes and no. I see you kept the ring. He told me as long as I hung on to it that you would see me. This business about one of your girls getting knocked off is getting pretty thick. I really don't want to see anything happen to you. Is that what you're really here for? Okay, maybe that's not all I want. But it's all I'm here for right now. For now? Yeah, I want you to tell me if you think this is an inside job. If you got some nutcase of a John running around who feels like he has a score to settle. I don't have any score to settle with any man, Marty. You know that. If you suspect somebody, I want you to tell me. I'll take care of the rest. Even if I did suspect someone, I wouldn't tell you. This is way over your head. You don't know what you're getting into if you think you can come down here and start shaking things up. You're going to get burned real bad, baby. Yeah, I know that. But I'd do it for you. Hey, don't forget your ring. I didn't forget. I want you to hang on to it for me so you'll know. I'm always there, watching after you.